Hello legends, it's your boy Link and today we're reviewing two more football shirts from ZV Best. Disclaimer before we start, this video is in partnership with ZV Best who sent me these shirts out to review, very kind of them. Um, so please support them and also I just want to mention, I'm quite excited about this because we have my first ever fake Umbro football shirt. And we also have this little purple number with Matip on, you know, which is a player I love, which you can't buy yet. You cannot get that shirt yet, like, officially. So, ZV Best is similar to DHK, and they sell um, kind of, like, fake replica football shirts, NBA jerseys, bit of this, bit of that sort of thing. And um, I've never had an Umbro one, so I'm actually quite keen to get this open because I really like my Umbro Ipswich Town shirt. Um... I have the all black blackout one. Now you may know what team this is, you may not. You will recognise the name on the back, I am certain. Suarez, Luis El Pistolero, Suarez. That's a good, good size actually. Looks like a good size. So this is a 4XL I think. 4XL GB. It's got like 120 Anos de Gloria Tens Immortal Tricolor. So it's 120 years of glory. Um, the tens is with, I think, with immortal tricolour. They're called the tricolour because they wear blue, white, and black. Um, of fe Fato. Okay, I can't. Something. Fato's history. Okay, yeah, my Spanish isn't as good as I thought it was. Um, actually, it's Portuguese, and I speak Spanish. That's why I can't read it, because it's Brazilian. Thankfully, Google Translate's really good at Portuguese. So it's 120 years of glory. You have immortal tricolour, the deeds of your history. And then the bottom bit, it couldn't translate from the camera, so I had to type it in. And the bottom bit just says, Sing Oreo Great Love. That might be a bad translation, so if anyone does speak Portuguese fluently, I'd love to know exactly what it says properly. So this is, of course, a Gremio. Now, my love affair with Gremio basically started when Lucas Leiva um, went there. He went like back home there a few years ago. So I watched him a little bit just because I, I'm a Liverpool fan. I had a soft spot for him. But more recently, I've watched him quite a lot because Luis Suarez, you know, who was, for me, one of my favourite players of all time, has gone there. Um, he's got a lovely Umbro 9 on the back with like the sponsors. It's got like the Gremio, it's like a Gremio Umbro 9. It's a really nice shirt, to be fair. It looks like it's a nice size. Um, down here, there's a C G Football PA. I assume that's because of the 120th anniversary. I didn't realise this was like an anniversary shirt when I ordered it, to be fair. Um, and then you have an Umbro, official licensed product. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it, yeah, you see, there's kind of like a, it's almost like a holofoil. Like a... There's like a matte and then there's like a shiny set of Umbro logos, which makes that look really, really legit. This is absolutely brilliant. Um, I don't know what the sponsor is. So I might be walking around advertising something where I've got no idea what it is. But um, I'm excited to try this on. So let's see how it looks. So the sizing comes up a tiny bit small, but actually, this is probably one of the best fitting fake football shirts I've tried. Um... Um, I thought I hadn't got it tucked in, but there's like this weird kind of like blue under collar under the white, which is like some extra detailing, like layering. Um, I quite like the shirt. I like the pattern. It's it's very different. Like I can't think of any other teams that have a shirt with like these coloured stripes. Um, it's Gremio is like its own thing. I quite like it. Like I said, it is a little bit tight, more around the belly area, but it fits quite well. Um, in Umbro, I do actually wear four XL as well. So with the Sizes being a bit smaller in the fake shirts, you've got to expect that. Um, Umbro sizing is weird, to be honest. Like, in every other brand, I wear 3XL football shirts, but in Umbro, I'm 4XL. But, like, um, Ipswich Town recently got them, and they're very different. But let's get on to the main event of the evening. Joel, Joel. Now, the first thing I notice is there were 97 on the back. Um, one of the legends reached out to me. And said they had a fake home shirt, I believe, from DHK. Um, and they had 96 on the back. And I was like, if you're going to get anything wrong on a Liverpool shirt, please don't get the thing that, that respects heels or wrong. So I'll show you the back first. 
So it's massive. You can see there's a bit of black detailing. Now, I'm very excited about this little Premier League patch because they've changed this this year. Like, the Premier League patch no longer is round. It's actually like, I was going to say tiger-shaped. It's a freaking lion. Um, and also got the, the No Room for Racism patch as well. Um, it's a nice shirt. It has the new style Expedia sponsor, which we've already seen on the Home and Away shirts from DHgate. I haven't got an authentic home shirt or away shirt yet. Um, I'm hoping to buy them when I go to Anfield because then it's like a, as well as, oh, they're expensive, right? Football shirts are expensive. Then we better talk about that. These are like 10, 15 quid, uh, depending on how much personalization and stuff you get. But like football shirts are so expensive when you buy authentic ones that for me to justify the 70, 80 pound, if I buy it when I go to Anfield, it is like a memento of that trip to Anfield. Because obviously I don't live in Liverpool and it's so hard to get Liverpool tickets, even with a membership that I only get to Anfield two or three times a year. So, yeah, I'm sort of just hoping to buy them as like a memento of my next trip to Anfield, which hopefully will vlog real soon. Um, I just like the shirt, though. It's some crazy purple pattern. Um, Liverpool haven't really had many purple shirts over the years. Lots of people talking about this new Premier League number and with like a very slight kind of like lightning um, two-tone in it. I like it. I don't hate it. I like quite like the new Premier League numbers. I like the shape of the actual numbers. They're quite um, big and bold, but they are a bit bland. You know, when you compare it to like, I've got a Juventus shirt in front of me, um, which I recently reviewed from ZB Best. Um, like they're quite bland, but if you look at like Madrid, Madrid's got some nice numbers. Like they look nice, but yeah. Anyway, different shirts, different numbers, and um, I guess the next thing to do is to try it on. Oops. It fits pretty nice. Um, and like I said, I wear a 3XL Nike. This is a 4XL ZV Best. ZV Best, ZV Best. I never know which one to go with. I like the shirt though. I like the colour of it. It's different. And I think Liverpool need different after the last couple of years. We need a... This year's going to be a bit of like a reset for Liverpool. I'm going to hit the reset button and start again. And um, this purple shirt will be a really nice one to do it in. I like all three of the Liverpool shirts this year. Um, I've got them all as fakes now. I did a DHK video, so make sure you check that out as well. Um, one thing I will say, comparing this to DH Gate, I feel like ZV Best, this is a 4XL, I've got a 5XL from DH Gate. Um, ZV Best doesn't do 5XL at this time, in this product at least. I don't think they do them at all. Um, just check the size guides. Always check the size guides because two different sellers could be completely different. Um, one of the advantages with ZV Best is it's like one seller, so you know what you're going to get. And um, yeah, I just I think ZV Best sometimes, their 4XLs just fit me a touch better than the... The H8 ones. I'm going to give this Liverpool purple one an 8 out of 10 because it's actually really good. The quality of the badge and stuff. Like the night tick, the sponsors, the, the printing, everything is so good. Like the pattern, I can't really comment on yet because I haven't seen it. Um, and then this Gremio one, I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. Because I have an Umbro shirt and this honestly feels as good quality as the Umbro shirt. Um, and the sizing of it is really, really good, especially when you consider that in Umbro I take 4XL anyway, um, so I couldn't size up in this, so it's not really fair to kind of like mark them down for that, but all the little details of the anniversary and stuff, beautiful shirt, and it's a name I've been very keen to have on my back once more, like I haven't had that name on my back since I was at high school, so... It's time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos where I review football shirts, go check them out on my channel. There's a whole football playlist. I've got an Ipswich Town season ticket. I go to Anfield when I can. So much different football content in there. And more football shirt reviews. You know, authentic ones and fake ones. And um, th give it a thumbs up because you obviously like it if you're still here, I'd assume. And comment down below what shirts you want to see me review. What's your favourite football shirt next season? And what do you think of ZV Best DH Gate? Have you got them? Do you, do you shop with them or do you just stick to the, the real deal? All this lesson says, I've been Link. You've been my legends. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.